Today we are going to be looking at Microsoft Office 2010. Unfortunately, even though I have a Professional Plus license, I only have Microsoft Office Professional installed, which means that we are not going to be taking a look at InfoPath 2010, SharePoint Workspace 2010, Visio 2010, Link 2010, or Project 2010, because it's available to use for free. However, we're not going to be able to do an in-depth look at it, but anyway, we are going to look at Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, Access, and SharePoint Designer. And yeah, and we might get a bit of a sneak peek at Adobe Reader 11. I might make a video about Reader, about Adobe Reader 11 in the future. Anyway, enough rambling aside, let's start with Word 2010. Yeah, this is this is one of the three different kinds of themes that you have with Office 2010 and other versions of Office, like Office 2007. And this is a dark theme. This is basically dark mode before dark mode existed. And I use it because I think it looks rather nice. But yeah, let's just work on this. Let's see. A list of my computers. Pretty much what we're gonna do is a list of all of my computers. This is my entire collection as of the time that I'm recording this video, which is the 23rd of April 2023. Because, well, yeah. HP Compact 605 Pro, which is gonna be on the on any of these lists. We are going to go with add a shadow. We're gonna go with this. And yeah, we're gonna just do some basic formatting. And just put the name of the OEM and all of these. Or just pull the name of the OEM. I mean, I didn't insert a picture, but I don't have any pictures of these computers on here. And even though I could go try and log on to my Google Drive, I'm not gonna do that on Windows 7 for now. So yeah, we'll just keep that in the background. And we're gonna need that later on. Okay. Now, all right, scroll lock is enabled. So now we're gonna go into Excel. Gonna create a similar kind of thingy. Some of these might be based off of my memory or how I remember things. Hard disk. We're gonna create a We're now gonna add all of these software into here because that would make things way too long. Windows XP Professional, SB3. Why do I keep on uh, your Windows XP? XP? Why do I keep on? Okay, yeah, maybe I should. Now keep in mind this is only off of memory. I haven't booted up the 526 g in a long in a long time. So that number may just be 500 megahertz or something. I don't know. Four gigabytes. Yeah, this is also four gigabytes. Five, four, three, this is five, five, 
Actually, I remember this correctly. 500 megabytes, and not even 2 gigabytes. Also 500 megabytes. Let's get me going here. Okay, if I remember correctly, it says on here, I probably have a 200 gigabyte right from my best guess. And so, yeah, now we can go and go fit, or fit, or this. There we go. Now we've got the yeah, we can afford mm -hmm. I'm not gonna try that. Going to leave this for later. And for whatever reason, there's a glitch in office where um, when you minimize something. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that data. Um, now we are going to go into. Um... Now let's create a PowerPoint presentation. So now we have three different. Okay, let's actually do a little something different. Let's add a design theme. to all we're going to pretty much add some effects to me actually never mind with that slideshow from beginning we have this get some information about these systems and we'll just save that we do not need that for later now we'll go to one note and Outlook decided to minimize. Great job, Outlook. Calendar. We will need to keep out Outlook open. I've got stuff in here. We will need to keep Outlook open. For now, we will cover Publisher. And, well, 
Where is it? Where is the tech? They're all tech back. There we go. And yeah, I don't really have any screenshots for this thing except this. Now that now we have that reminder. Yes. Dismiss. There we go. Got that. And now we can close out of there. We are going to save this for auto recover. Save as a PDF. Now we shall be able to see Adobe Reader 11. So yeah, this is Adobe Reader 11. And hopefully I can uh, We'll probably deal with it in a future video. Now we have access, kind of. We can also access out of this. External data. Import an Excel spreadsheet. The Allop test will not be created. Now we have the entire database. And last but not least, we have SharePoint Designer 2010. We are not going to cover this because... Well, as you will see, we do not have SharePoint Foundation, so this is useless. And now, that is Office 2010. Thanks for watching, I will see you next week. Bye.